So the relationship with Jackson County goes back uh, really to the creation of Truman Medical Centers uh, back in the early 70s uh, when county leaders said that this community needs an organization that will serve not only as an academic medical center, uh, but as an essential hospital for those that have the best insurance or have no insurance at all. Yeah, so one of the things that we realized early on in the pandemic is we were uh, limited in our ability to put patients in isolation rooms. We just didn't have room in them uh, because nobody had thought you know, that you would have a pandemic of this scope uh, and you'd need those kind of isolation rooms. Uh, so the county, through the CARES Act funding and how they chose to invest that, we were, we were able to add significant amounts of isolation rooms all across the organization, not just in the, the Truman Medical Center uh, downtown campus, but also in the Lakewood Medical Center campus out east. Uh, so we added isolation rooms, and then when we got to the, the second wave, the Delta variant, uh, every one of those rooms was full. So it was a good investment and it paid off. Uh, it showed that you know we were ready to deal with the next wave and, and because of the county's forethought, we were able to do that in, in great, great form. So clearly we knew that for us to be effective in increasing vaccination rates, it had to be more than just doing vaccination at the two hospitals. We had to be out in the community. So uh, one of the investments was two mobile units uh, that enabled us to go out to community centers, to churches, uh, to other places where folks gather in this community where access you know, to vaccination would be much easier than trying to come down to one of the two hospitals. Uh, so I visited a number of those sites as we were doing those vaccination clinics, using that equipment, using those buses to be able to do that. Uh, talking to folks, they were grateful that we were in their neighborhoods, able to give them something uh, without having to come to the hospital. You know, for some, coming to the hospital is an inconvenience. For some, it's much more than inconvenience because they didn't have transportation. So being out in the community was very important. Uh, those buses enabled us to do that. So a lot of folks uh, in county government have been extremely helpful. First and foremost, our county executive, Frank White, who got it from day one, knew the challenges of the pandemic, knew what it was gonna take. Uh, even when it comes to vaccination, both Frank and his wife, Teresa, were one of the first to receive their vaccinations, sending the message that this is important for us to get past the pandemic. But past Frank, uh, the county legislature, we met with the county legislature on multiple occasions. Uh, you could not have a group of people that are more committed to helping this, this county, this community get past the pandemic. It's really been a great partnership. There's great leadership at the county level, uh, both with the county executive and the legislature. They've been wonderful partners for University Health. Its relationship has gone back decades and will continue decades to come. So we're thankful for that partnership.